But hello, my wonderful Algebra 1 students. How is life? I hope it's great. Whoever can convince me that your life is going great right now, give me this Twix bar. Mm, only 250 calories. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. I don't hear anyone speak up. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to eat it myself. Well, I thought I'd do a short video on and just so that when we go over it again, um, hopefully it would be right for you, right there. So here we go. Um, now remember, if you remember, the or only has three ways it can happen. Either you have two dots away, two dots away, that's or, or you have the hug, the hug, the hug. Overlaps, it's a whole number line. Or, if you're going in the same direction, it's the longer one. The longer one. Or if you're going the other way, the longer one. The longer one. Well, and is different. That's why it's a separate category. And in math is like and in English. So if your parents say, look, you better clean your room and you better do your homework. And because you love homework so much, you do that. But you just forget to clean the room. You figure, hey... Dust is just going to come back. Parents would be upset because and means both conditions have to be met. So if I say, look, I'm going to eat a whole cake and a whole pie, I better accomplish that or I didn't tell the truth. And you know me, I like to tell the truth. So both conditions have to be met. Both conditions have to be met. I'm going to have to clean this screen or buy something to clean it. It's getting messy. Wait, let's see if I get oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Earthquake. Ah, sorry about that. I'm trying to move this lower. There. Is that a little bit better, maybe? I don't know. So, um, ah! so anyways, Let's look at this first one. So x is greater than 6. Here's greater than 6. Maybe if I get a darker pen. Here's greater than 6. Whee! And here's greater than 10. Now with the and, some people like to draw three graphs. So the and says where it's shaded on both. Has to be on top of and both. No shading here, so that's not part of my answer. So my answer would be everything here, greater than 10. Then look at this one. So here's less than 6. Here's greater than 10. Now, and says have to be shaded on both, over on top of each other. Well, if you notice, they're shading here, but not here. They're shading here, but not here. So the answer would be no reals. This one. Let's see. We have greater than 6. We less than 10. Way. Now it has to be shaded on both. Notice there's no shading here, so that can't be part of my answer. Even though there's shading here, there's not shading there. I'm telling you, there's no shading there, so I cannot be part of my answer. Same here. So my answer is everything in between, because that's where it's shaded on both. Doopy, doopy, wee. Now the fancy way to write this is 6 is the smallest number, it's smaller than x, but 10 is the biggest number. So it is bigger than x. So, and could have, whoops, everything in between, everything in between, two dots, everything in between. I'm going to raise this, it's annoying me, sorry. Everything, so everything in between, two dots, everything in between. Or, if it's going in the same direction, it's the shorter one. So, doinkers, doinkers, doinkers. Or, if we're going the other way, doinkers, doinkers, 
doinkers. So and's the shorter one because it has to contain both. So if we're going to the right, doinkers, doinkers, to the left, doinkers, doinkers, and it could be possible to have no solution. Ooh, no solution, no solution, no solution. So, uh, or it can have all reals and can have no reals. Well, let's solve one. Here I just divide by 2, so x is greater than 4. Here I take the opposite, so I got to switch the inequality. So, uh, I recommend you actually, do, ooh, what the heck. I actually do recommend you draw three graphs. Seems like if you draw less than three, you mess it up for the end. So here's greater than four, here's less than 20. Where is it on both? Where's the shading on both? Here, no, silly, there's no shading there. Here, no, it's everything in between. Everything in between. So the final answer would look like this. Uh, if you're, 20. Now notice it's open dots because there's no equals. Shade in between. Shade in between. Shade in between. So a uh, fancy way to write it was everything between 4 and 20. Okay, let's look at this one. Multiply by 4. That's an 8, by the way, if you can't tell. So multiply by 4. That's a 32. Divide by 4. So that is 2. So here's greater than 2. We here's greater than 32. We so where is it shaded on both? Right here. So the answer is greater than 32. Now, of course, the algebraic answer would be x is greater than 32. So it's the shorter one. So again, we're going to the right, it's an and shorter, shorter, shorter. Now, if this was an or, what would it look like? That's right. Longer, longer, longer. Because it's wherever it's shaded if it's an or. But and it has to be shaded on both. Both. Hat, oops. <laughs> Another earthquake, sorry. Has to be shaded on both. So, now, sometimes the answer will start like this. It starts fancy. See, it looks like this, but no work. So one way of doing it, and I may show you another way in class, but one way is to say, okay, how can I get just an X in here? Well, by adding six, I get rid of the minus six, but I have to do it to all three parts. So add six here, add six here, add six here. So it'd be 26 is less than or equal to two X is less than or equal to four to six. And then, okay, I don't want double x, I want x, so I'm going to divide everything by 2. That's what you do, is divide by 2 for me and you. What's my favorite color? Blue. Wait, my guy sneeze. A chew. Well, that's getting annoying. Now, notice we can just use one graph here because I want all the numbers greater than 13 but smaller than 23 so here we go now solid dot solid dot shade in between now does anyone remember does anyone remember what could we use besides beside a solid dot okay answer right now you get the twix get the ooh creamy peanut butter nope didn't hear anyone but I hopefully you said brackets. And what do you if it's open dots? That's right, parentheses. If it was open dots, you could use parentheses. So nice job. Well, it's getting close to time to watch the lines. I hope they don't make me throw up. But maybe the win. There's always hope in the universe. I'll see you. Have a good day. What's that? Might be a pop quiz tomorrow. Oh, who would do that to you? Ha, 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 ha.